So to remove the carpets, and it's pretty much the same on both sides, except on the driver's side, you've got the gas pedal and the footrest to remove. I'll show you that in a moment. But apart from that, it's pretty much identical. Obviously the seats need to be removed. Have a look at the, the video that I've made on that. And then just going around the car from the front here, there's that panel. And this is in that interior trim video uh, that I made. So have a look at that. That slots in there and slides forward. It's the same on both sides, except the passenger side has the 12 volt outlet. Uh, and then going along to the front here, and this is the, the one from the driver's side, just so I can show it a little bit more easily. At the front here, this is a piece of trim that runs along the side of the dashboard up there. There's a simple clip on the other side of that, and it clips in from the underside. So get a tool and just unclip like that. That will actually stay in the car, and that will just unclip over that. Additionally, at the front, so at the front here, there are two pieces of Velcro that are attached to, not the carpet, but the actual frame on the underside. So you're just gonna get your hands off there and just disconnect that. And then at the end, we're actually gonna move it rear. However, before you do that, make sure you remove the seals. These are actually really easy to install. They've just got a, a knob at the end of each seal that you just feed up inside, both front and rear. And then you just fit it around the actual frame. So they're really easy to put back in. So pull it out straight away. This piece here needs to come out. It's the same on the other side, except the one on the other side obviously has the, the button console here for the front and rear boots. So when you pull this up, you'll need to disconnect that electrical connector. And this just pulls, I'll just push that in and show you. It's pretty simple just to pull up and out. There's just a bunch of clips along the bottom. And then once that is removed, then this thing here can actually come out. And it comes out rearwards, be careful. There's this knob here that gets broken off really, really easily. And it's just going to clip into that there. So with it disconnected at the front, which I'll do now, pull off the Velcro at the front there, and then I'm going to pull it rearwards. And then it'll come out. Along the side here, there's a bunch of little clips that hold onto the carpet. So you can just release all of those. now free and then at the back we need to remove the, the carpet at the back here have a look at the interior trim video that I made to how to remove that it's pretty pretty simple just to remove the, the covers off the speakers unhook the carpet from here and then just pull the carpet up and out then we need to remove this trim here because I need to get this bit out this bit here needs to come out first it slides up onto the the roll bar trim here there's a clip there there and there's a couple little knobs here that it sits on so you just want to get your hands underneath there and lift that up and then that'll unclip what you can also do is with the seat belt we need to actually remove the, the seat belt connector that's just got a clip on it get a screwdriver on it unclip that and then there is an m10 triple square underneath there obviously already removed that so i'll just pull it out now side and then this bit here just slots straight through there so you can get rid of that and then this one here needs to come off it has a clip that presses in there there and one in the middle there as well as a bunch of sort of loopers that go down into the carpet down the bottom there so I've already removed that I'll just show you there's one that pulls out there there and there and there are those pokers that go down the carpet down the bottom And then the center console needs to come out. I've made a separate video on that, so have a look at that. Now, you, the trim that goes down the side here must come out. You can't get the carpet out without that gone. Um, you might be able to get the, center, the, the carpet out without the actual center console out completely, because it requires you to remove the gear shift lever and that sort of stuff. There's a little bit of extra work and feeding this all back in here might be a little bit harder later on without this with the center console still in place you might be able to you've got those connection points so you might be able to lift it up a bit and feed that in there without actually having to remove the whole center console that'll probably be a little bit simpler but then once that's removed we can just disconnect that velcro and now the whole thing will come out and what i found is probably the easiest way is to just pull it out like that and then just fold forward as you pull it really It'll need to come out from a couple of slots here. And then it'll just 
pull out, fold it forward, and then you can pull it out. An installation, having it like that and then pushing it forward is the easiest way to do it, I've found as well. I just tried uh, installation of the carpet with the centre console in place, and it's definitely doable. Uh, you'll need to have it so that, uh, like the components out of the top here aren't important, but you'll need to get uh, the tray out the back here. And obviously the trim down the side here, that needs to be out of the way. Uh, when you're putting it in, obviously you're just going to feed it in underneath here. If you've got this out of the way, then you can help yourself out. But there's actually not too much that gets in the way. The only one that is a bit of a problem, child, is this clip. and Because the actual carpet's got a loop or that needs to sort of go around it. So just pop that clip out. And if you're removing it, I'd be removing that clip as well. Then you can just plonk that back in place like that. The Velcro that goes, I think that's just to help for installation in the factory. It doesn't make any ounce of difference without that. The Velcro attached to the other side, it's just going to sit there nicely. Uh, the carpet from the driver's side is pretty much identical except for the fact that the bit uh, at the back here actually goes all the way across. And with this out of the way, you'd easily be able to feed it up there and through where it needs to go. For your footrest on the driver's side, it just pulls straight off. There are these, one's actually broken off there, which is a bit of a shame, but you've got these bar things there and that just pulls straight out of the carpet. Here's the throttle here to remove it. It's a single screw up there. The carpet's gonna be sitting uh, behind it. So this is gonna be sitting over the top of the car. Could remove that single screw. And on the other side here, basically the way it actually slots into a little bracket here. Um, and this knob here holds it in place. So seeing from the side, you can see that actually sticks out. So what you need to do is, once that screw is removed, is actually grab hold of the top and pull it out like that. That'll take it free from the bracket on the frame of the car, and then the thing will just slide straight up. And obviously the reversal uh, to actually install. The plug here is actually pretty tightly on. It's got a big gray button to press, press it, but then you'll have to use your thumb probably and lever it off because it's actually a sealed plug and that's on pretty hard.